the Jewish life in Jacksonville is, is great. This community is an old Jewish community. There's about 14,000 Jews here in Jacksonville. And at the same time, the Orthodox presence is smaller. And as a result of that, we're all very close with each other. Everybody's important here. Jewish life here in Jacksonville is rich with uh, day schools, community centers, and all sorts of Jewish organizations. And beyond that, it's just a wonderful place to live. The leadership here, especially Rabbi Fish, who's the rabbi of our Orthodox synagogue, and his wife, Henny, they create an environment where we're asked to bring out our best for the community. So we were living in Jerusalem and Israel for uh, about four and a half years. Uh, we were looking for a community uh, to be Jewish educators. We're very proud to say that we are an Orthodox synagogue, but we're an Orthodox synagogue for all Jews. We have uh, very observant people. We have people which are not as observant and many people in between. And I'm proud to say as rabbi of Eitz Chaim that everybody feels welcome here and everyone can say Eitz Chaim is my home. Truly, this is a spiritual place. It's, it's a very satisfying to feel that you uh, are satisfying your social needs, but also satisfying their spiritual needs in a deep way. People should come in here and feel like they have a great spiritual experience. This is a great place where we can connect with other Jews. We have Am Yisrael Chai. We have a, a Jewish community that's very linked, and everybody supports everybody else's endeavors. Our community is a kind of communi community where everyone counts. Your neighbors want to knock on your door and say hello, and your neighbors want to know how you're doing because they genuinely do care. When I uh, had the baby, I didn't have to cook for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I had everybody was making meals, and they were delivered to my house every day around five. It was great. <laughs> Long, warm relationships is what creates community. And here in Jacksonville, that's exactly what we have. We have people who care about each other, and people who want to be supportive of each other, and people who want to build long-lasting relationships with each other that build a sense of call Yisrael, a sense of community. People here are just wonderful, kind, loving, warm people. The Jewish community here is very unique in the sense that everyone feels like they can contribute something unique. Here we feel extremely relevant, extremely needed. The special element that we have in Jacksonville is the mutual respect that all the different flavors of Jews in Jacksonville have for each other. It's a warm community. It's a warm, welcoming, open family. Just being here, you're important. You count. You're not just another number. You're not just another you know, face in the street, face in the kiddish. Here you count. Even though it's such a small community, um, that's the beauty of it. We have such a good interconnected relationship with everyone and everyone is like family here. I really feel like a proud Jew here. So it's really surprising, but it's, it's an amazing feeling to feel like you can be uh, yourself and comfortable uh, as an Orthodox Jew here in the South and live in Florida. High quality physicians find it easy to work in Jacksonville and are attracted to come to Jacksonville because of the easy access to the hospitals. Jacksonville has a very wide variety of health services and very accessible health services. There are many hospitals in Jacksonville. All of them receive excellent uh, ratings and are all fully accredited. We have luckily here in Jacksonville, both the Mayo Clinic and the University of Florida. It's a very diverse city, even on our, the street where we live. There are all different uh, sorts of people, different races and religions. There's a mutual respect that exists. are very tolerant. They're very respectful of their Jewish neighbors. They like to work closely with their Jewish neighbors. There um, is an appreciation for all diversity of culture. And we, as uh, a Jewish community, are very uh, welcomed here in Jacksonville. As a matter of fact, we um, hold some prominent positions, both in governmental and social and cultural life here. It's um, very, very welcoming and very respectful of diversity. We like living in the South where people are friendly and people say hi to each other and they you know, get together and it's, it's a warm place. Religion is pretty much respected down South. And I can't tell you how many times I've been stopped where people say, I just love the state of Israel. You know, I wear a yarmulke at work. 
I feel extremely comfortable. I feel that this uh, entire area, being in the South, is very respectful towards religious people. Walking home from show with my kids on Saturday, and they greet the, the, the mailman by name. We Everybody in the neighborhood Leonard. knows Leonard the mailman, <laughs> who, who knows his Jewish holidays as well, because he's used to, to stopping at our houses. The sense of responsibility, the sense of belonging, not only does it come out in the form of the adults who are part of the Jasper community, it translates itself into children being raised with that sense of Jewish connection as well. Kids are growing up in an environment, both religiously and in the community at large, that's a family-oriented environment. The messages that they're receiving outside in the community are the same kind of messages that they receive at home. The Tor Academy is an absolutely wonderful, kind, and caring school. We live our Judaism and its experience. It's part of our daily life. It's more than doing certain rituals. It's becoming a person that lives the Torah and its values. They should have these skills for life to know what it means to, to live as a Jew. He gets that warm Jewish community, that feeling that, you know, there is much more than just learning the alphabet and learning how to count. You know, it's about being a good person. It's about, you know, knowing who you are, knowing your culture, knowing your heritage and your religion, and adding all of that to secular study. We have a lot of access to kosher food. Um, a lot of people think that, you know, just because you don't have a restaurant, which we don't have at this point, but we have so many more amenities. We have all different types of meats. We have all different types of Israeli foods. Pretty much, you're not lacking for anything that you're finding. Even if you're strict, even if you're Chal of Israel, you can still find the right kinds of dairy products here. You can still find carved cookies. There's, I mean, everything is available here in Jackson that you would find in other markets. The economy here is diverse, and there are a lot of job opportunities. The economy is centered larger around the banking and the financing industries and insurance and the healthcare industries. One of the important things to know about the economy here is that Jacksonville is strategically located on the east coast of Florida, which is the gateway to the Caribbean and South America. And because of the location of the port and the airport and the highway system, Jacksonville is a strategic economic hub. The wonderful thing about the Jewish community is that we have people, I'm sure, in every industry. What's so wonderful is you have these fabulous resources that people want to help and connect from public and private resources to the community. Then the Jewish community of people wanting to make sure that you're doing something that is meaningful to you, that you can make a living from, that you can support your family. Absolutely, I know that the Jewish community is extremely supportive. And we have a, a low cost of housing, but a very high quality of housing. So you get a lot for your money compared to other metropolitan areas throughout the United States, but also within Florida. The majority of the people that live here and belong to Eitz Chaim live within the, the Eruv. And the, the housing varies in price from the low 100s up to the mid 300s. You get a lot for your, for your money. A typical home within the Arab would be a four bedroom house of about 2,000 square feet with you know, a family room and, and sometimes a swimming pool. The quality of life here is really very conducive to raising a family. It's a great place to live in general, whether you're Jewish or not, it's just a great place to raise a family. Jacksonville offers families a great, great environment. It's safe, it's healthy. You know, people in general are community-minded. Neighborhoods are beautiful, there, there's grass, there's trees. Jacksonville, it might be in Florida, but it feels a little bit like southern Georgia. There's a lot more oak trees around here, it's a lot more woodsy. We have lots of amazing neighborhoods throughout the city. They're just beautiful areas, always nice to look at. The outdoors is just beautiful, there's so much land here. 
and we take advantage of that. I have a grapefruit tree and a tangerine tree and a kumquat tree and a fig tree all on my property. It's just an overall happy place to be, <laughs> which makes it fun when you have kids. <laughs> to enjoy the clean air and the blue skies and the green trees and the fruit trees that I have on my property makes it all worthwhile. And it's very conducive to being nice to each other. It just seems like one of the friendliest places we've ever lived in. There's a Jewish community already here. We have an Arab, we have kosher food. You know, it's not like we're in the middle of Timbuktu. You know, it's, it's manageable and you could have a better quality of life. It's the only community I've lived in where I've had three different visitors come to visit and then decide to move here. <laughs> this place is great. You know, we have, a, we have a community that loves us and that inspires us. Our kids are happy. It's great living opportunity, great way of life down here and the quality of life is, is really worth it. It's a community that's uh, that's worth investing in. Very easy, convenient, and lovely life here, and I would recommend it highly. I believe we have found our home. People, when they come here, uh, really fall in love with it, and the trick is really just coming and checking it out. <laughs>